Welcome back everyone to the Back 40 Firewood channel. I'm back here in the woodyard today underneath the canopy because it's hot, the sun is out. You might be asking yourself, why would you come out here in the heat just to run the Yapa 315 firewood processor? Well, let me tell you why. The amazing Amanda, I sent her on an errand to the grocery store to get some stuff. So she's gonna be gone for a little while. So I have a little time to come back here and process up some firewood. And what am I gonna be processing up today? Let me show you. So what I have to run through today is just a bunch of this slab wood that uh, some of it Rick dropped off, some of it I had from when I was up there the last time at his mill. But so I've got this little tiny pile of slab wood. I know it's, you know, probably not the most desirable stuff to be running through a firewood processor, but what I think is gonna make it super slick and super easy using the Yapa 315 here is that the one nice thing is I'll be able to get nice, even, consistent cuts. Um, and if anybody knows, unless you have like a, a saw buck or whatever you call those things with the V to hold that slab wood in place when you cut it with a chainsaw, it can be a bit of a pain in the butt. So I think what's gonna happen is this is gonna be nice and slick to just take those slabs, run them here in on the conveyor, cut them off. And then what I did is I put the six way back on just because um, if the flat cutoff falls down into this channel, that's kind of shaped like a V. Let me show you here. So if it falls down in there, if I just had the four way on, I think it might end up uh, sitting at like an angle and then it would just get pushed right past that center knife. So what I'm hoping with the six way is these, uh, these little wings right here, this knife and this knife are gonna catch any of that slab wood that's getting pushed through um, that's sitting on an angle down in that channel. We'll see, I don't know. We're gonna give it a try, see how it goes. Like I said, I just have this little remaining pile of slab wood and rather than trying to uh, put it on my little saw buck platform over there with the logs and cut through this with the chainsaw, marking it out, getting consistent 16 inch splits, that would take a long time. Well, maybe not that long, but it would definitely take longer than it's gonna take to just run these down in into the Yappa put them through, push them through, up the conveyor, and out the other end. So, let me get set up here.
That's where I got split. Look at some of this stuff. Looking nice, but as you saw, I've been demoted. Somebody's here to take over. So we're gonna keep running the rest of the slab wood through. All the slab wood processed up and I don't know about you guys but when I look at this trailer it does not look like it came from a bunch of slab wood just looks like a bunch of split bundle grade firewood that stuff is looking nice some smaller pieces but I mean for the most part look at this look at this piece right here that does not look like it's from slab wood at all this piece same thing looks great 
that worked out pretty good um even though i was demoted halfway through but the slab wood's all gone so that big i had one one gnarly little piece that i didn't even try sending through because this one right here had a big knot so that'll just be a nice chunk of boiler wood one thing i did find out with the six way is that it did kind of jam up a little bit um and it's always i guess a good idea to not have your knife all the way up because then you have no room to raise it up and, and get that stuff out from underneath it so a couple little jam ups um but i don't know if it would have been any better with the four-way i think with the six-way having these knives at those different angles to catch the slabs as, as they were pushed through i think was better i think the four-way would have just been a lot of uh wider cutoffs coming through kind of like this one right here that's a little wide um, but not bad the yappa 315 right here made pretty quick work of it it's what was once a pile of slab wood sitting there on the pallet is now a trailer full of firewood it's a lot of wood all right so i think that's going to do it for this video thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time stay safe have fun and be cool